Welcome back, nerd friends. Brushed motor time. That's right, uh, you heard me correctly. Hobby Wing is proud to introduce two new styles of brush motors. What I call a normal three slot 540 size motor and a 555 five slot motor. These are targeted at the rock crawling segment. So the scalers, the comp crawlers, stuff like that. The guys that are looking for super lightweight, ultra small builds kind of lean towards the brush motor stuff. And there's plenty of people out there that just really love the way brush motor feels, drives, all of that. Now we're gonna offer these guys in a couple different turns. There's an 11 and a 13 turn in the 555, and there's a 30 and a 40 turn in the 540. These are pre-production samples that I received several months ago, and I've been running it in my scaler, and it's been, I was trying to not like it. I was really trying to say, you know, I'm a brushless guy. I've been loving FOC for so long, but much to my surprise, these work pretty great. And considering the price point, I think that these are a wonderful option for RTR upgrades or people doing kind of, I don't wanna say budget friendly builds, but if you're trying to save a few bucks, these are great options to pair up with like a WP1080 or even the RTR brush motor speed controls that are out there. They are rebuildable size motors and this is a normal 540 size, so the basic length on it, if you go from the face of the can to the top of the end bell, 53 millimeters, and it's still the same 36 millimeter diameter. So in a brushless setup, this would be a uh, 36, like 53, basically. And in the 555, it is the same diameter, 36 millimeters still, but the length is a touch longer at 58 millimeters. Um, there's a link in the description below, because these have been posted on the website. Uh, I really don't know what's going to come in the package, if they're going to have wires or anything like that, because like I said, these are pre-production models. I will be doing an unboxing on these motors in the coming weeks once I get So just for some reference, this is like a normal RTR, what they call a 540 motor, and you can see the can section and the top of the end bell is give or take about the same size. Hold it up next to the 555. The 555 is about as long as the tabs are when it's all said and done. Here is a normal 540, what is our, our spec motor? See there, they're same diameters, the can shapes, but uh, same size as a 540 motor right up to the top there. And then the the good old Axe 540L, this is one of my, my beater motors. You see it's about that same length. So the end of the motor gets right up to that top side section there. So pretty close. As we touched on before, these are rebuildable. You can take them apart, have the comms cut, put them back together. The timing is adjustable. So you're able to set these up for forward and reverse rotation style motors. Some of the guys that have like the MOA, the dual motor rigs, they need one to go forward, one to go backwards. Or if you've got a custom drivetrain and you want to give it a little more RPM in one direction or the other, you can do that. Generally speaking, zero timing is pretty safe for crawlers. Forward reverse works the same, but a bump of timing in the direction that you're using primarily will help the motor run that direction a little bit better. Another point is the brushes. We did some development on the, the brushes themselves. If you're unfamiliar, maybe you've only ever run brushed less motors. A brush motor can take normal battery power DC power goes in the wires and then through passes through the brushes and onto the commutator that's in this and in the inside and that commutator has segments that go to the coils of the motor the can has the magnets so it's kind of the opposite of what a brushless is and the motor itself takes care of the commutation or the firing to make the motor rotate those brushes over time uh, wear down they get shorter as you use them and it builds up carbon inside so the balancing act of a brush is one that gives good performance and lasts a very long time as well. And that's what our engineers kind of focused on was a very long lasting high performance brush. Now you're laughing because how can you do that? Like how do you have high performance and long wear? I don't know, that, that, that's not really my department but that's what the information says. And time will tell, I, I have high confidence in these motors because well, the little bit that I've run the 555, she's a stump puller like, I was expecting it to stall and be pretty lame on the rocks, but it actually drove really nicely. And I kind of didn't have anything bad to say about the, the whole brush motor experience. I even drove one of my buddy's rigs who had a very old brush setup in it just to see maybe I was clueless and his stalled and it was real lame, but he had a, a little bit, I guess you'd say a much older motor than, than what I had in my freshie. So his might be due for a reason. These are primarily for rock crawling applications. They can be used in other stuff. They're just gonna be super fast because they are that 
rock crawl range of turns. Why is this one 40 turns and this is 13 turn and they're both considered for rock crawling? Well, because this one not only is longer, so the turns are longer, meaning more wire, making them have kind of like a higher turn, but this is a five slot compared to a three slot motor. And what that is, it's the number of segments on the, the arm itself. There's more coils, if you will. So it's kind of like going two pole to four pole type of deal. It is the basic idea there, but that's not really what's happening here. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do shoot us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com. Thanks a lot. As we do every time, uh, I like to remind everybody that we do have a podcast. It goes new episodes the first and third Friday of each and every month, and we give away a free Hobbywing system. The podcast is called RC Stuff, and you can find it on your favorite podcast service. Give it a listen, enter to win. And as always, folks, thanks for tuning in. Another fresh episode, new every Tuesday, right here on The Charlie Show on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We will see you all next time.